Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to part 7 of the level through PvP only playthrough. At the end of the last episode, we beat a max level phantom, so we have a ton of runes, and I think I've decided to level up quite a bit. According to the comments, most of you guys have been like 40 to 50 in Liurnia, and I'm basically done Liurnia at 34. So we're gonna get our health to 40, and then maybe we'll start investing in some strength or endurance. I think I'll stop at level 44. This allows us to invade down to 40, so we're still going to hit a lot of Liurnia. And I won't have to worry too much about leveling for the next couple of invasions and areas. And then we upgrade all of our weapons to plus 7 and plus 3 Somber. We have 11 Smithing Stone 3s, so I can get 5 weapons to plus 7. Banish Knight Greatsword is going to be one of them. My Zweihander, of course. The Great Ape, I love. We can't forget the Claymore. But then I have to decide on my last weapon that's going to be plus 7. I think I'll go with the Shamshir. I do like having a curved sword. We still have so many runes, I'm going to preemptively level up weapons that I think I'm going to use in the future. Why, hello, EG. 25 of each of these. I don't know if I'll even use 25 somber weapons ever, but we'll get those. And the filigree crest. Hello there, Patches. I've come to buy you out, really. I can probably get max of these. Well, I can get quite a lot of them. That doesn't end our soul amount. I still have 10,000. Well, we can also go buy some crap prawn, I guess. Not crab. Could buy 16 more of these. All right, boom. Now we're kind of set. I do want to get some of the better merchants up towards Altus. We can buy quite a lot of things soon. But first, let's go finish off one of these caves that I was planning to do last time. We just kind of got sidetracked because we got all those runes. Tomb's Word Cave. I don't really remember what's in here. Ah, uh, yes, we have the poison cave. Fun. You know what? We have the poison heal, though, so it might not be too bad. Oh. I don't really remember what the best items are in here. What's this? Poison bone dart. Oh. Did I take the right route to the boss right away? Well, may as well do it. Wait, is this even a boss? <laughs> well, I'm guessing fire would be effective here. Just a thought. Hey there. I'll cure the poison. <laughs> Perfect. You know what? I don't even care. Or just run in and do this. Probably chunk the boss heavily. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit by that. <laughs> but it's okay. Well, the Viridian Amber Medallion. Okay. There's still more to this cave, though. I dodged the rats. Yeah, I was going to say, what's back here? A cookbook. Probably the poison one. Oh, and then this. What's this? It's always an arteria leaf. Excuse me. All right, I think we got everything. That actually got me wondering what I can craft. I can craft some neutralizing boluses. I have four, though. I'll make some if I need to. But we go for the wipe, and we go for our first invasion with the build now. We're still getting Limgrave invasions. <laughs> what the heck? Hi there. Oh, you guys are actually fighting the Tree Sentinel. Uh, backstab. Baja Blast. Baja Blast is a survivor. He's gone. Jeez. Whoa! How are you guys level 40? With zero HP? <laughs> what the? Alright then. Was really expecting Liurnia after that upgrade. But we go for our next cave, I suppose. May as well try to finish it off quickly. We didn't get enough souls to level anyway. Ah yes, the horsey jump is over here. I was kind of wondering, how do I get up here? And then I remembered, I've been up here. The Impaler's Catacomb, okay. Before we do the cave, I actually want to go for another invasion. That first one wasn't very effective. Weeping Peninsula. I guess people really are higher level in these areas than I think. You guys in the comments are right. I was pretty underleveled, but there's still people here at like 40. Making me run through the poison. <laughs> Rude! Ooh, that Phantom's got the Greatsword Ultra Greatsword. Hmm, this could be fun. 
This could be some potential souls. Hello, T8. How are you? I'm gonna do this. Uh, no, no. I wanna fight. I wanna fight Pog. Pog is where the souls are at here. No, I don't. I will fight you both. I will cause you to fight me both. I swear. <laughs> I want the souls. <laughs> Host, you need to back it up. Wah! I love that he came in here to get hit by that. Whee! Yes, Pog down. What kind of runes do you got for me? Let's see. 650, oh! Honestly, wasn't that high level. Looked higher level, because he had the actual like weight load for the greatsword. <laughs> Poison! Yeah. Well, you are shirtless, I suppose. That makes sense. <laughs> People don't like being close. That's what I've established. Oh, almost a backstab. I guess the poison's probably going to do enough, to be honest. But we get the hit as a finish anyway. Well, that phantom looked higher level than he was. Got 1,100. Not anywhere near enough to level anymore, though. Into the catacomb we go now. Whee. Excuse me. I was hoping you'd fall off. <laughs> Maybe we'll use a non-poison weapon here. Whee, fire. What even does well against the, the statues? Not hitting a wall. Probably the best idea. Flame! <laughs> Ouch. What do they drop? Oh, the head. Interesting. Well, this is a smaller cave. I do enjoy that. Although I do have to say, I think I would have preferred if they made the main areas larger and did less of these caves. None of them feel... Some of them feel unique, I suppose. But a lot of them just kind of feel the same. Well, hello there, Watchdog. Oh, you're the one with the actual little teammates. That's right. Ow. You interrupted it. Ow. Excuse me. We flame on. Perfect. Oh, it's got the... I always forget the speed of this one. There's like the wizard one, which kind of has like a different speed. And then there's this one. Which I'm getting used to now, obviously. I think we might one phase it. Well, one phase. Just one R2 spree, I suppose, is what I meant. Alright, and then we get out of here. And with that, I think we completed Limgrave. Now, I think there's a few caves that I haven't gone to here. You know what? We're going to go to the church next. We get an Estus upgrade up there anyway. So it's just useful overall. Oh, the hardest part about getting to this church. Not getting madnessed along the way. What's this? I think I'll wait one more round of it and then we'll just sprint over and to fight the rats. We'll definitely use fire. Like that's good timing. Get underneath it. Jump in. Fire. No, no. Fire. Jeez. Fire. Alright, we're good. <laughs> scary, scary. And fire's the trick to killing all of you as well. Oh! <laughs> Didn't expect to get madness. Excuse you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> is this the fast way down? Yes, yes it is. Whee! I didn't open this chest on the way up. Howl of Shibriri. Alright, Vike, I'm on my way. Oh, I still hear more rats. Alright, I guess we're about to get invaded. We got kicked off Torrent. Where does Vike spawn from? Ah, in front of us. Alright, Vike. Show me what your madness has. Oh my god, it's got a lot. That's terrifying. I don't know if we can take any trades. Can we backstab that? Yeah. Especially on PvE like this. I don't want to get a madness proc on me though. 
We get the poison going. Nice. At least we shouldn't get any, like, fake build-up, you know? Like, phantom build-up. Since we have the perfect connection. I guess that's still combos. Excuse me. Take my frost. You're not the only one with stat procs. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm out of stamina. Surprised I didn't get hit there. Oh boy, that might hurt actually. Woo. Goodbye, Vike. Give me that spear that I'm probably not gonna use, but um, I'll still take it. Now we get a nice buff to our heals, Sacred Tear, and then we get the Finger Maiden outfit. Have any helms I like yet? I can wear the hood, I guess. I feel like it clashes though. It's red and blue. When we're invader colors though, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> oh, you still see the hints of red and blue though. Lady Maria? I think that was the name of the host, right? Hi there. Let's start off with our poison. It's just our go-to beginning. Lady Maria, hello. Hello guys. Hey look, we're wearing the same hood. I guess that's not very original fashion. <laughs> Cute hood though. I want the phantom first though. Why is the host always the first to approach me? I saw you, Lady Maria. Oh god, Geralt. Well, Geralt is in slight danger. That's an interesting choice. Ooh, Lion's Barrage. Okay. Geralt down. Let's go with the Claws. They are fire, so using them on water. Not the best idea, but I like the combo, so we'll have some fun with them. Help me. Oh. I feel like that could be useful. Lady Maria, come here. Face the combo. Oh man. Still devastating. Go for the heal, Lady Maria. I want to let you heal. I want to see if we can get anything off the Impaling Thrust with these. Because you can with a few other weapons. Heal yourself. Heal. Why don't you use the flask, Lady Maria? Use the flask. Use it. <laughs> oh well. Well, fun fight, Lady Maria. And Geralt. No high level phantom here, though. All right, now let's go grab the catacomb. I guess there isn't really a closer grace, is there? Maybe this. Hello there, teleporter. Wow. Forgot it was death blade build up. Woo! Hmm, backed up. Chilling mist wake up. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Oh, I thought you'd get a little bit more range on that. Sadly, you did not. That is so slow. <laughs> I expected faster. Would you get out of the way? <laughs> All right, dragonfly head. We'll use a bonk stick in here. There's skeletons, so bonk. Stay down. Hey, what the? Oh yeah, this one's a summoner, that's right. Where is the summoner? <laughs> I say, I think atop the blades, right? What side though? Oh, unfortunate. It's that one. Hey there. Oh, oh yeah, I got rid of it. Makes sense. Dodge. This is... Oh, they're not part of the summoner skeletons. Is this the place with the illusory wall? It is! I remember finding that on my first playthrough. I was very excited. All right, we have the Black Knife Assassin. Woo! These things always have such cool movesets. But like, Attack with the Dagger is really cool looking. I will backstab the backstabber. Oh, that was so close. I'm greatly disappointed. 
<laughs> cool looking attacks, honestly. Ah! No, it's a backstab war. I will get you before you get me. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Black Knife Assassin down. For the Cerulean Dagger. And the Black Knife Print. Wait, is there more in here? Yeah, there's actually a regular boss too, right? I didn't do this, so we're doing this on the way to the boss now. Pretty sure it's just an axe in here. From what I remember. Yes, it is. Which is what? Oh my god, the cemetery shade. You. We'll just full trade you. <laughs> that was so easy. <laughs> Usually that boss fight is a little bit more rough. Trading into it helps a lot. Ooh, death root, nice. Now we can upgrade our flask, at least the sacred tier upgrade. Now, where else do we have to go? We still have to go down into the Einzel River. There's also still this cave over here. I suppose it's as good a time as any to go down there. We'll do that now. But first we wipe our souls and we go for an invasion. Oh nice, we're actually in Liernia with Gojin. Oh, they're so far ahead of me. I see you guys, hello. Hello. Let me grab a long range Ash of War when I get close. What do we have going on here, a katana user? L2. You don't expect it to work, but it does. Ooh. Well, hang on, let me just poison both of you. Preferably you, I guess. That'll kind of keep the host off you, and then you can deal with the phantom. Oh wow, didn't go for the follow-up. <laughs> nice. Okay, maybe this. I feel like he's gonna come attack me. What about an R2? Too slow off of that. What about an R1? <laughs> Just right, although he didn't really try to dodge away. That's kind of a, a cute build. Knight theme, but with the katanas. <laughs> To open it, we actually have to fight this, right, I believe? Oh, well, we can easily cross fight. Woo! Woo! I kind of lost track of you. Don't stub your own toe. Wait, we can use our secret technique. R2. <laughs> yes, although it's hard to guess where they're going to get to. Um, oh, that was weird. I couldn't charge it longer than that. How good do you think Wild Strikes would do here? Well, it did pretty well until that moment. <laughs> Just hold it. Perfect. We get the grace, and I feel like this is kind of the appropriate level to go through here. We're standing on water. I feel like lightning is the tool we want. Whoa, that was a lot of them at once. <laughs> oh, you survived, huh? We can't horse here, right? No. A little magic grease. Some more ants. I do want to see how well things like frostbite will do. Hmm. Oh, very well, apparently. What do they drop? Oh, God. R2. Right back at you. <laughs> I accidentally hit that one. Whoa. Another smithing stone three. All right, this is perfect progression then. We're getting some upgrades that we actually need. Pop. Wait, no wait, pop. <laughs> uh oh, wait, don't know a bunch of these drop soon. <laughs> The answer is yes. Yes, they do. Um, we're gonna do this. I sense an ambush on its way. The never-ending ant attack. Alright, I think we're good. They're doing the goat roll. Save me. I see the opening. Bink. Bonk. 
Now we get a whole bunch of rocks thrown at us. It's going to be a lovely time. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, we grab as many of these things as we can. And that's all of them. Excuse me. They're blowing bubbles at me. Use the pillar. <laughs> Alright, now we run in here. Oh, a lovely merchant. Maybe we can do a quick pause here and uh, buy some stuff if I'm interested in anything you've got. Is some customer well? Ooh, Lost Ash of War and Gravity Stones would be good as well. What is this? And we could then get the Frostbite Bolluses. Okay, yeah. This is a really good merchant to have. Oh, wait. There's no grace near here. I can't just wipe my souls. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. We have to go over here. Definitely something we're coming for after. In fact, just to test our luck, we're going to do a wipe right here and then do an invasion. If we get something, we can buy some stuff. Oh, wait. I haven't been here, though. <laughs> um... I have not gone atop Altus at all. How did I get an invasion here? Does being in the Einzel River or somewhere underneath count as well for an area above? I've never seen this. <laughs> okay, that's intriguing. Now I'm kind of confused. Look, we haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> we haven't even gone up the ladder yet. We did not use the lift. Oh, I've been to the Divine Bridge. Oh, because I warped there. Oh, really though? That's that's close enough to get me that? That's interesting. Okay, cool, cool. I'm not against it. I just completely forgot that we had warped there with that chest. Let's go for a second one, just in case. I do want to buy a few things from that merchant. And that was pretty funny. <laughs> so now we can probably invade up to, what, 68, almost 70? So we're going to start hitting some altus once we discover it. Cool. The Purified Ruins. The Stephanos the God. That looks like a whip user. Jeric. Maybe we'll throw some wind at them so they pay attention to me. I don't know the range on this, but hello. Seems like you see me. You are the phantom, even though you're heavy rolling. I want you to back off. <laughs> I like their tactic, run around me. That's a good one. Oh, some bleed, okay. We're also using stat procs, huh? Uh, the, the heavy rolling might get you though. That's, that's not the best move. Uh, what do you say to using claws against the claw user himself? Ooh. A little bit of lightning. Oh, a lot of light. That was it, Max. That's so funny. Two combo. Impaling thrust. <laughs> I actually like that a lot on this weapon. It works. Stephanos has a twin blade. Oh, no. Comboed. Although your, your phantom gave me a decent amount of souls, we can probably buy something I want from the merchant now. Oh, nice. And you gave me 500. Useful. Well, Alright, my friend. What can I afford? What is time pressing to buy? The cookbooks? Probably the cookbooks. These I'm going to come back when I have a large chunk to get endless of, so... Let's just do that. There's a lot of items in here. But a lot of danger. <laughs> we get the poison horn charm. <laughs> and that leads us right to the boss fight. Here we go. This is kind of a cool boss room, I have to admit. I like it. Alright, Dragonkin soldier. I'm gonna hug your legs. We do a lot of damage. 
Not bad, really. Poison. I think I actually missed that hitbox. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah, I forgot he has the lift up part of that attack. Oh, we're just face tanking at the moment. There we go. Let's get a good crit here. Can you even poison him, actually? Oh, wait, that's the lightning. Oh, man. It's kind of stuck in the leg. It's okay, though. We didn't poison him. Whee. Oh, I thought I could jump it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Whoa, that was a bright. I'll be trying to bleed you here, sorry. Excuse me. Uh-oh, uh-oh, statues. Still kind of stuck. Whoa. Very flashy, I'll have to say. What is a flashy boss? Whee! Excuse me. I just need a couple hits on you here. Thank you for pulling me closer to your leg. Whoa. Nice. Well, goodbye, Dragon King Soldier. Frozen Lightning Spear. Wasn't there something in here as well? Yeah, there's a chest here. But what is it? The Great Ghost Glove Wart. I realized I never spoke to Hayata a second time, and I do want to continue that quest line. I do have a Shibiri grape, yes. Like the others, you give me great rest well, hello. hello. Would you donate any them on a pilgrimage? And when I eat one of I don't have any grapes, hello. huh? But we did just fight a boss, so we're gonna wipe and go for our invasion, see if we get some souls. Nice, I actually like fighting near here. I don't get invasions here a lot at meta level. Dracula da Vinci. <laughs> what do we want to use on Dracula? A lance, maybe? I haven't been using a lance a lot. Heh, <laughs> lance a lot. Ooh. Hello, wizard. I see you come preemptively ready and buffed as well. You know what I have for you? This. Counter wizard juices. Activate. I need mana. No, you most certainly don't. I think you have lots. You look stacked. So we have Bloodhound Step. We got some bleed. Ooh, I'm going to be careful of the bleed. In fact, he seems high level, to be honest. I need you to chase me. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. That's what I think of that. Ha <laughs> A backstab attempt, nice. Hey, they got a blue coming in. We got a little bit of blue action here. Why are you using that? I feel like that's not very effective, except for when it hits me through a wall, and then it's kind of effective. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Hi there. I think the blue is coming in soon. Oh, the blue's right near me. Hey, blue. Oh my god, hey, blue. <laughs> oh my god, blue. I love blues. Give me that free FP. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm gonna pretend I'm going after the host. LT. Ooh, that was a two for one. Oh, that was beautiful. I love that you can roll catch that now. There goes the absolutely high level wizard. I can I can almost guarantee you. Oh, 8,000. Still really high level, but not anywhere near max level that I was hoping. Unfortunately. Wind! <laughs> this is such a great chase down weapon. I ignore that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Gonna have to go on the offensive here soon. I love that you can actually roll catch that now. Oh, that actually tracks pretty well. I'll give him a bow though. They gave me some much needed souls. 9,000 actually, hmm.
Let's see if we can get a level. No, we need about two more thousand. I do need to get invaded by Edgar, so we're going to end up getting the plus eight weapon if I do want to continue Hyda's quest line, which is fine. It's honestly only one more upgrade, and I do need to continue upgrading my weapons anyway as we go towards Lanedell. So maybe we'll go and see which weapons we can actually upgrade to plus eight. It's probably only going to be oof, one. We can only upgrade one. Well, the Banished Knight Halberd can kind of take my regular Halberd's place. And we could also get Rajir's Rapier. So we want to do their quest lines. I suppose it's going to be the Banished Knight Greatsword. It's kind of like our base right now. I love my Claymore, but the two-hit combo is just really good right now for the stat rocking. We go plus eight. We could also top up, a, I guess, the Lance. I do enjoy the Lance. We'll get it to plus seven. Bringing this to plus four would be too high overall, so we can't do that yet. I do want to change up the Ash of Wars, though. As much as I like Chilling Mist, it would be nice to have a multi-hit Ash of War, like Sword Dance on here or Spinning Slash. We haven't been using that a lot. This has good hyper armor and a true combos, so let's just make that our Ash of War for now. We'll give the Katana Unsheath. I think that's always good. That should be good for that. We can organize the inventory a little bit. Actually, the mace is something we could almost use. One more strength and we'll be able to one-hand it. There we go. We got a nice clean inventory. I could buy a few more of the things I wanted from the merchant at Einzel River, actually. We have 7,000 still. Why, hello there. What do I want the most? This has acid spray mist. <laughs> the last Ash of War is good. We want more of those to duplicate our Ash of Wars. I like these as well. We'll buy some of these. I want to stock up on them. They're actually a useful tool for invasions. All right, now we go get invaded by Edgar. I suppose this is one of the closer spots. There we go. We get forced off the horse. All right, Edgar, let's go. I forget where he spawns. Is it right at the shack? It is. All right, Edgar, what do you got? You got roll caught. <laughs> oh wait, do you heal poison? Okay, no, that was gonna be about poison. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I was out of stamina to combo it, but the poison got him anyway. I'll take that grape, that banished knight halberd. Some meat dumplings as well. What else is around here? Some more meat. What do I need? Well, I've defeated Godric. Ah, mm, well done. Something to mark. There we go. <laughs> well, I think that's it. We either go up to Lindale or we go into Kaled more. Since I've kind of run through Kaled and grabbed a few things that I like, I feel like we'll touch Lindale. We'll get more invasion spots open this way. Tough call. Ravine or Dectus? I think we'll go Dectus just so we can get teleported by Rhea really quickly. And now we're in Lanedale. And Rhea should be right nearby, apparently. Over there. <laughs> I did not see you. I always take the ladder way up. I've been waiting for you. I All right, we teleport. We go to Volcano Manor. Another spot we can possibly invade. Hello there, guys. I will join the Volcano Manor. Now I can spam both of the fingers back and forth for even faster invasions. Although I'm not going to lie, they've been pretty instant. What have we here? The recusant finger and the letter. And Bernal. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The volcano manor is a I hope you want I understand. Well, as long as you I thought you perhaps play but no before you Ah uh, yes, the quest to go get my armor. We're not gonna turn that down. I didn't know where the sign was for a second. <laughs> Alright, we invade. I've come for your armor, good sir. I hope you don't mind. First I am going to poison you though. I love how that's always such a good start. Boom. Now we can probably frostbite for fun. 
Oh, you have the gravity attack. Interesting. Oh, he actually didn't get full comboed by that. Bonk. <laughs> I wonder then, would a repeating thrust combo you? <laughs> well, it didn't even poise break you. Okay, that kind of did. <laughs> and then Stormcaller. <laughs> you are tanky. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll be taking that armor for me. We are going to alter it, of course. No cape here. There we go. Do we even have the weight load to wear that with... What's my heaviest weapon? Spyhander. Let's see. Ooh. Well, we have enough for the chest plate. Well, unfortunately, we cannot do that yet. What is it? This looks better probably with, uh... Yeah, with the Vagabond leggings, and then we can put the... Ah, we can wear the scaled gauntlets. Okay, I'll go alter the cape. But first, to alter the cape, because it costs runes, I actually have to wipe <laughs> and go for an invasion to alter my own armor. Ooh, into the academy we go, alright. King Henry. I see you, Henry. And your teammate, too. Ooh, Henry's got a bleed teammate. Henry's got a bleed build. And we always jelly bean. <laughs> Alright, jelly beans poison. Whee! Lightning coming my way. Indeed. <laughs> Some more lightning coming my way. Henry, I'm gonna need you to leave. I'm after your teammate here. And the dogs are with me. Need some more stamina. Oh, he actually... I'm stuck now. <laughs> oh, good dodge, honestly. Are you out of FP? Jelly bean. Dog, no. Oh, the poison just wore off on jelly bean. I don't know if we're going to catch him, because he's probably really high level with that stamina. Backstab? No. Whoa. All right, let's get our FP going. Not FP. Regen, sorry. Let's get this back. Poison the host. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. His luck is crazy. Truly. What is this? He's doing that on the cliff. That's crazy. <laughs> As if he didn't go off the ledge there. That was almost like a save. Jelly Bean. You're kind of a god. I'll give you that. Okay. <laughs> Look at Jelly Bean surviving constantly. It's crazy. <laughs> I thought he was dead there for sure. <laughs> okay, Jelly Bean. <laughs> it's over. I don't know how much luck you can get. <laughs> that was hilarious. Although, Henry was saving you amazingly. Can we just talk about that? But... You know what I don't get? Why they're fine 2v1-ing you, but the second it becomes 1v1, they'd rather jump off a cliff. <laughs> it's an interesting mindset. Also, that phantom was high level. Look at those souls. Yeah. We can easily alter our cave like this now. Hmm. Nothing amazing at the moment. Let's alter our cape, because it is not pleasant looking. Nice, much better. Now I guess we can we can throw a level on the build. I kind of want more stamina, to be honest. We could also get one more point in strength and use the Great Mace. That would be kind of fun. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll definitely get the one point in strength. Do I want to buy anything? I think we can buy some Ash of Wars from Bernal now. <laughs> oh, just Eruption and Assassin's Gambit. <laughs> Um, at the moment, I don't think either of those would be that Whoa. useful. Alright, I don't think I really have anything else I want to buy then, so let's just put one more point in Endurance. Maybe then we could wear the armor with what I want to use. Let's see. Ooh, if I don't have the dagger, I can use the Zweihander. So we're going to need like one more point in Stamina, and then we could wear the set afterwards. Okay. We still have a few leftover souls, so I'm going to buy a few more smithing stones. What can we get? Six more? Alright. 
Six more. Now, I know there's a golden seed out here, and I'm pretty sure an Ash of War. There we go. Oh, through and through. Okay, I wasn't sure which one it was. Grab the golden seed. May as well grab the map as well. Ow, hand. Ow, jeez. Relax. The question is, do I want to progress around Mount Gelmir or do I want to go to Lanedale first? That's tough. I also remembered, you see Alexander here, and I haven't gone to the Gale Tunnel yet. I don't know if that has an issue with this quest line, but to be safe, I think I'm going to go to the Gale Tunnel first. Oh, I cannot just roll down there. Oh boy, that was scary. <laughs> that was close. I thought this was the part with the ladder that was not very high at all. <laughs> nope, it was indeed not. What's in here? Ooh, a somber too. We could definitely use that. And then we get a grace. Hi guys, I'm sprinting through just to see if Alexander is near. And also grabbing some smithing stone fours. I need more threes first. <laughs> Get some regen going. What's that? Oh god. Oh, that's damaging. Excuse me while I buff my sword and also take care of you, sort of. Oh, jeez. Relax. <laughs> How I led myself into a nice corner here. Alright, we get out. <laughs> I didn't think they'd follow that far. How wrong I was. Oh god. Jump again! Excuse me. I need to crit you. There we go. That was an awkward amount of enemies. Ooh, the cross Naginata, nice. We can use that as well, although it's much more dex. Maybe we won't, we'll see. This is the spot that I thought it was earlier. Oh. <laughs> Don't call them. All right, I think because we came here after going to Altus that Alexander's already moved to Redmain Castle. All right, well, we've discovered Mount Gelmir now. We can either go to Lanedale or we can go to Kaled. I already kind of have quite a lot of Kaled done, so I kind of feel like I should just go down and do Radon now that the festival's started. But we do an invasion first, of course. Ooh, the manor, but I don't think they're up here. They are definitely right by the grace. Hi, guys. I'm going to warp down and hope it brings me down there. Oh, I was so confused for a second. Wait. They can warp you outside of the manor? I didn't know that. Maybe they're at the grace? Ooh, they're right there. Where I was, they ran to. <laughs> How dare they? Hi guys! Hello Doc. Oh! Interesting! Whee! Oh my god, epic plunge. <laughs> the sword of night and flame. He wants to L2. Oh my god, a wizard. I would have treated you differently had I known you were a wizard. I would have plunged you harder. He was trying to roll off and escape me. I just know it. Oh! Okay. You could have backstabbed me. It would have been funny. How's this do against shields? Okay, that's survivable. 
You're my test subject. Um, we need more FP. Let's just do this. What can we do here? We can poison Genie. Cool. There we go. Genie's got a little poison going. Now we can do some R2 memes. R2! Oh, I don't have my perm. <laughs> but you know what might? This. <laughs> we just wild strikes at Genie. <laughs> the Dodge Master. Why are we doing that? Call me, call me, haw. Nice. The fully charged R2. <laughs> we'll give him a bow, though. The Phantom wasn't over leveled. I was kind of hoping it was. In fact, he was higher level than his teammate. I suppose that's a good spot to end part 7. I do have to either go into Kaelid or Lanedell now, or Mount Gelmir is an option as well. I think opening up as much as possible for the invasions is very good though. Let me know in the comments what you'd enjoy seeing. I do think I'm leaning towards going to Kaelid though so we can fight Radon, finish that up and start Ronnie's questline and a few other ones as well. I can also clean up some of the areas, grab the seeds, weapons, and talismans that we need from this area before we move into Lanedell as well. Although I'm very open to input, if you guys have any suggestions, leave comments below. Things that I might have missed that you'd like me to pick up as well, I can do a little bit of a cleanup beforehand. Once again, I do appreciate all the input that you guys give, and until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.